Good morning everyone, it's a beautiful Saturday morning and I'm going to buy bird food. Well, yesterday I mentioned how the pet shop had moved from the centre of Cobham to the station and some of you might have thought, so, <laughs> Cobham station. But the thing is, Cobham station is a good two miles away. And the reason for that is when the railway line was built, the young Queen Victoria was living at Claremont. And I think I've shown you Claremont landscape gardens in a vlog before. And so they swung the railway line wide so as not to disturb the young princess. So as a result, Cobham station is not in Cobham. <laughs> it's actually in a little village called Stoke Dublin. There we go. Only the best for the budgie. Still got the old address on it. <laughs> but the thing about the station, it could actually be an urban myth for all I know. So if there are any historians watching um, and you want to verify or dispute that, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> because we don't want the mice getting at it, do we? <laughs> happily munching away. Are you happy now? Are you happy Brady now? I'm on my way back from Guildford. I just dropped Darcy off at the course. She's doing another course at ACM. And um, Ben has called and said he's on his way back from Durham. So, I've just had a nice lunch with Ben. Don't know if I've still got stuff in my teeth. And um, I'm now going to take some groceries over to my mum and dad and take them out for a coffee. And I think Ben's going to do the run to pick Darcy up from her course. Okay, so that was stressful. I couldn't find anywhere to park at all. It's because it's Saturday. So I don't have the groceries from my mum and dad. I think we'll just get them afterwards and <laughs> go and have a nice chilled coffee first. continuing all the weekend and um, last night we tried to organise something with friends, getting together to see my friends but Ben had travelled a long way, he was a bit tired so we ended up just uh, heating up some microwave curry, <laughs> it was very nice though, and watching a film 
we watched this weird film called Harold and Maud. You've probably watched it, some of you people my age. I've never watched it before and uh, it was <laughs> weird. Weird but helpful. Um, go watch it. <laughs> um, and the essence of it was, you know, choose life rather than death. And it was really cool. There's some Cat Stevens songs going on and the kind of general theme was there's just so many things that you can do and be and just go and enjoy them all. So yeah, that was uplifting. And um, because as you can probably tell, <laughs> um, I've been a bit kind of, oh, I don't, I haven't felt kind of down and depressed and um, anything like that. It's just the energy just got sapped out of me um, with having to address things and face some things and I have learnt from this um, not that I didn't really know it before but it's consolidated that I really need to just spend a small amount of time addressing these things and isolating those and I'm you know really taking on board some of the techniques I've been learning about uh, stopping ruminating and just giving attention to those things at certain times and then shelving them which is cool and also again along the lines of the manipulation thing um, everything that I've learnt with the transaction analysis thing and making sure I don't get hooked in uh, when people might be taking a different stance like a parental kind of controlly stars. I'm not talking about my parents <laughs> uh, or you know a manipulative child uh, stance and again I'm not talking about my children <laughs> you know um, I, did I do an actual video on transaction analysis I don't know um, look it up there's loads of videos on it on YouTube so yeah so those are the things I am taking on board and I have no idea what Sunday has in store um, let's see. Well, I've sorted out that renegade bit of hair that was in that last clip and I'm just making Darcy a cup of tea and Ben and I are off to our church get-together thing. <laughs> oh, I just love the rain. I don't know what the sound's going to be like on this video, but I'm having a bit of a horrible day. <laughs> Today isn't horrible but I had this horrible realisation that this uh, ladies day, this talk that my friend organised that I booked on some weeks ago was yesterday and I forgot. <laughs> I don't think I could have gone anyway because Ben had gone to Durham and he wasn't back till yesterday afternoon and I had to take Darcy to a uh, course so but it was just the fact that I was thinking, oh, but I've still got that talk to go to. <laughs> and no good. So, oh, I think I might go around the park. Oh, there's a lot of little boys playing football, so that'll be noisy. Um, yes. I can't believe so many of you also seem so calm and relaxed. Because uh, in reality, well, that's a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> no, not really. Just the usual things to do with bringing up children and work things and work things for Ben and my mum and dad. Anyway, I saw it was raining and I thought, I love the rain. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a little walk in the rain. It's nice under the umbrella, just listening to the sound of the rain. So that's how my weekend is turning out. Tonight I'm cooking Brazilian. Some Brazilian rice, done some chicken and some vegetables and of course the most important thing is the beans. I've just finished pressure cooking. Let's have a look. It's so easy cooking Brazilian style because you just do rice and beans 
and meat and vegetables and maybe salad. And then everybody comes and pops themselves. Thank you.